should have put the balls in the shaft. Or get f Usually the balls hang on the outside, but this time I thought I'd put them on the inside like you told me to. So let's see if it works. And what I'm doing now is I've just cut the sliver, which is going to so I can orientate it. And now I need to clean the steel where I've just drawn the line so that I can weld them all together. So while that guy cools down, let's go take a look at what I'm going to do with the head while you follow my head. So I picked this up off a popular reselling website. It's a popular brand as it says there and it's pretty damaged. It's scuffed there and it's got a crack across here as well. So I'm going to cut this off and remove all this. I don't quite know what's under there. I hope it's just solid steel. But let's take this over to the bandsaw and cut it. If you've ever wondered what's inside one of these heads, there's a slight lump of steel which sticks out there, which is part of the cast steel head, which will be a bonus for me because I was going to weld a pin on it anyway. So now I'm going to remove all this plastic. You'll see me when I've removed all the plastic. I've got to the steel all around the base because what I'm going to try and do is put a wedge in there, which is what this guy's going to do. And hopefully it'll just like a oyster, I guess. Well, this may cause a dilemma. I guess I thought it was gonna be as wide as that. I'm gonna have to have a rethink. So I've had a little thing on my brain, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut a line down there, which is the line, but cut it, the bandsaw. I'll just do it. You'll just, you just I'll just do it. Now this guy's cooled down, it's time to cut off the threaded part and sound down these ghastly welds. So it looks more like an axe shaft than a welded metal thing. And then we also need to take this bit off so I can mount the axe there. But let's go do that now. So I've spent what felt like 16 years trying to line up this because the base there center is not the center up here. So when I've welded it, it's kinked somewhere. Obviously, because I'm not a scientist, I got that wrong. I've notched this base bit out, which I left it on for a reason, so that it'll slot in this little tube cutout, a little love tap with a hammer that'll seat in underneath there, and then I'll be able to weld all around the outside. I've also been just having a little thing in my head. Thick walled tube, I'm gonna cut it flat, and cut a little maybe an inch nugget off there, slide that in there and weld it in so that the ball should stop just behind the centre of the blade tip pissed. I might leave it open as well just to, I don't know, just cause, make extra noise I guess. Stop the flow restriction of oxygen molecules and combustion. I might weld it up, we'll see. Time for me to go and pick my little boy up from school and then go home because it's Thursday night to me but to you it's all the same day which is better for you than me because when I get to the end of it I've still got a wedding and it takes me forever you are welcome 
So if you want to become a patron to help me in that situation, check the link in the description. See you tomorrow, which is next for me, for you, to me. Bye. While I wait for that to cool down, I'm gonna cut some strips of this steel to put over the weld and then weld around that for extra support. I probably don't need it, but I'm gonna do it anyway. While that cools down, let's go work on the loading cap. It's cooling down now, so I'm gonna grind it. I've cleaned this guy up all along nicely, which you can't see because it's covered in plastic. And what I'm gonna do is fill this front crevasse with expanding foam to hopefully take out some of the shock and noise reduction ist. And now we wait. <sighs> that went a bit crazy, so I had to tape it up. Uh, it's black and the shit. Because the previous Newton's axe was so loud and deafening, I'm going to add these in, the bottom and the top, little o-rings. So it should dampen the noise at least, maybe, we'll see. Well, that actually works better than I expected it to because I thought it was going to with the force in the tube going forward rather than towards the head, but it didn't. But let me know in the comments what you think of it. And if you have any other suggestions on how to improve it or other Newton's Axe variants, then let me know and I'll probably build it. Maybe, probably not. I don't know. We'll see. And while you're looking below this video, check the description where you'll see my social media pages. Go follow me. Like, share and subscribe. 
See you in two weeks.